Hello students. Let us do the classification of colloids on the basis of type of particles of dispersed phase. As we have already finished two other classification, this is the third classification on the basis of type of particles of dispersed phase. It is classified into three categories that is multi-molecular collides, macromolecular collides and the third one is associated collides. Now let us discuss these each in detail. The first one is multi-molecular collides. What do you mean by multi? Multi means many numbers. Many numbers of molecules are actually get aggregated to form a colloidal size particle. Look at the picture in this. Here the particle size is, is less than 1 nanometer. You can see here the particle size are less than 1 nanometer. That means they are of not of colloidal range. But these particles when they start to aggregate to each other means they will get aggregated to form a bigger size particle which have a size in the colloidal range. That means the size is now is in between 1 to 1000 nanometer. Now it will act as a collides. So previously it will not a collide. Here they are sizes less than 1 nanometer. But these will aggregate to form colloidal particles. So such types of collides are called as multi-molecular. That means many numbers of molecules aggregated together to form colloidal size particles. So definition of multi-molecular collides. When on dissolution, atoms or smaller molecules size less than 1 nanometer aggregate to form Particles of colloidal dimensions, the particles thus formed are called multi-molecular collides. Example, soul of gold, sulfur molecules, etc. What about the second one, macromolecule? What do you mean by macro? Macro means uh, the bigger one. That means larger size. Here you can see, the particles of these are actually are macromolecules are, are macromolecules that means their size lies in the range of 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer if its ranges that is colloidal range then the substances form macromolecular collides so usually these are actually natural polymers like starch and all they are actually much larger in size so they comes in the category of macromolecular as the name says macro means the larger size molecules form which type of collides macromolecular collides definition of macromolecular collide when on dissolution substances having bigger size particles that is 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer of a colloidal range forms macromolecular collides examples are souls of starch cellulose proteins enzymes polythene nylon rubber as we know that all these are actually polymers which have are called as macromolecules so their size is ranging between 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer so it forms which type of collide macromolecular collides the next one is associated collides now what happen there are some substances uh, which act as a electrolyte which act as electrolyte that means true solution when the concentration is low 
but when the concentration at high concentration they behave like collides why because at low concentration the particles are in the range less than 1 nanometer and when the concentration increases these particles actually they start to form they get associated and form missiles as we have learned missiles in the form in the cleansing action of soap that means missiles are formed when the molecule uh, the soap molecule which undergo dissociation to form a structure like having tail and head which will be going to discuss now so it will form some which associate to form missiles and the size of the missiles lies in the range of collides so such is called as associated collide definition of associated collides when on dissolution particles of the substance act as electrolyte at low concentration but it act as colloidal particles at high concentration that is due to aggregation of particles such substances form associated collides examples are soap and detergent now the formation of missiles takes place above a particular temperature and the temperature is called as craft temperature that means if a particular temperature is there for the formation of missiles and the temperature below of that temperature there is no formation of missiles and the formation of missiles only takes place above a particular concentration that concentration is called as critical missileization concentration or in short we can say cmc so as just we have discussed when the concentration increases missiles formation takes place so there will be a particular concentration and only at that concentration the formation of missiles takes place so mechanism of missile formation uh, as we have already discussed the structure of soap soap are the sodium salt of fatty acid so which we can describe this in the form of a uh, structure which is shown here that means it have a long chain that is a long chain of hydrocarbon which is called as the tail and this is the head region head region is the polar region having uh, coo negative na plus so this actually the head region is hydrophilic in nature and the tail is hydrophobic in nature so when it ag aggregate it forms you can see here the particles these are aggregate to form missiles so the each missiles may contain hundreds of such ions and the cleansing action of soap is actually due to the tendency to form the missiles so let us compare the multimolecular macromolecular and associated collides in the tabular form multimolecular collides smaller molecules less than 1 nanometer aggregate to form colloidal size examples are golden sulfur store so and if the size of the molecule is larger that means they are macro molecules and its size range in the colloidal range then it is called as macro molecular collides example starch cellulose proteins plastic and if the substance which act as electrolyte at low concentration and act as collides at high concentration sorry the substance which act as electrolyte at low concentration and act as collide at high concentration that is due to the aggregation of particles is called as associated collides example soap and detergent 
so that is all we have discussed the classification based on the type of the particles in the dispersed phase so in this way we have finished the classification of collides in three videos so in the next video we'll be discussing on the further topics thank you everyone